Should I do a really good sniff test? If, if you want. Okay, yeah. I can do it. She Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you know what? It smells like it has been. I have a shirt here that promises to protect me from the sun, manage moisture, be durable, and not stink even after days of use. And it's not merino wool. Heck, if the hype's believed, it's better than merino wool. This shirt is made with alpaca wool fibers. Alpacas are kind of like llamas. They're part of the same family. They live up in the mountains of Peru. And I'm gonna be wearing this shirt for the next five days straight while hiking and camping. I'm gonna be wearing it all day in the hot Arizona desert. And I'm gonna be sleeping in it as well to see how well it does with UV protection, moisture management, how durable it is, whether it's comfortable to be wearing all day, every day. And then most importantly, the stank factor. I adopted sun hoodies years ago with my go-to being the Outdoor Research Astroman. It's durable, it dries quickly, and it protects me from the sun with a UPF rating of 50. But it does tend to stink after a few days. Alpaca wool is supposed to have a similar UPF rating of around 50, but we've seen errors in UPF ratings with brands like Patagonia. So we'll see after five days of wear in the desert here, whether I have a sunburn or a tan underneath the hoodie at the end of the trip. For moisture management, alpaca wool holds on to about 8% of its weight in moisture. Compare that to 30% of merino wool, which just holds on to a ton of moisture. When it gets wet, it's really hard to dry. The alpaca wool is more similar to the nylon, which also has a moisture retention of 8%. So this sun hoodie should dry pretty quickly. I'm gonna be sweating a lot. I'll probably also dunk it in some water just to cool off a bit and see how fast it dries. So at the end of the trip, we get a good idea of whether it's more like merino wool or more like nylon. My Astroman hoodies are super durable. I've used one of them for over 2,000 kilometers on trail, and I've had some durability issues with merino wool when really using and abusing it while hiking and backpacking. But alpaca wool is supposed to be 50 to 80% stronger than merino wool. So as I'm going through the desert with all these prickly things everywhere trying to pull and poke and tug at the shirt, it'll be a really good test with how durable alpaca wool is. Alpaca wool is also supposed to resist stink after a day of wear and travel, no stink yet, but after five days of hiking and sleeping in this shirt, I can't imagine that it won't stink after five days, but we'll have a really good test. I know that my nylon shirts, they stink real bad after a trip like this, but I'm not holding my breath with all the hype around alpaca wool. I've seen that sort of hype with merino wool, touting it as the best fabric since sliced bread, and then not living up to a lot of the promises. So if this shirt can protect me from the sun, manage moisture, be durable, comfortable with days of wear at night and during the day, and then not stink after five days of wear, I'll, I'll eat my shorts because that'll be a huge accomplishment for alpaca wool. I'm gonna give you guys daily updates on this trip to let you know how the shirt's performing with all those different factors, especially a daily stink factor, just so we can see whether there's a progression in stink or whether it just kind of stays not stinky the entire time. It's only been about an hour, hour and a half since I got the shirt wet and it's already dry. But it's also managing moisture really well. It's holding on just enough to keep me cool on this really hot day, but then drying really quickly as well. So it's not getting sopping wet with my sweat. I've been surprised that I haven't been overheating in the shirt. It's thick, it's not a thin shirt. And it's supposed to be warmer than merino wool. So I thought that I'd probably be running into issues with overheating. But so far, because it's holding on to just enough moisture to keep me cool and is nice and airy, it hasn't been too bad. It's definitely not as cool as my Outdoor Research Astroman shirt. That shirt is quite airy and quite cool, but it's doing the job on this really hot day. Day four and it's another hot one in the desert. Today I've been having to push through a lot more brush and prickly things. You can see here we have a really prickly little plant that is this gonna catch and, and rip apart a shirt? But so far, no rips, no tears. It's been holding up really well. Something I'm a little bit confused about is where all the salt from my sweat is going. Either this shirt is doing a lot better than I thought at managing my sweat and making sure that I'm staying cool, or the salt is going to some magical place. You can see on my, on my backpack here, there's already after one day of use, salt stains on the shoulder straps, but nothing on the shirt. So that's kind of a strange mystery. But even on another hot day like today, the shirt's doing really well. I think it's keeping me from getting sunburned effectively. I don't have any sunburn so far. We'll see tomorrow what the final verdict is. And uh, that stink factor, I'll have to see. I'll have to ask somebody uh, once we get to the trailhead whether, whether they can smell me or not.
made it to camp. The shirt survived a pretty, pretty rumb rumbunctious day. <laughs> Went through a lot of different shrubbery and got it caught on a few different plants and shrubs and prickly things, but no rips or tears or pokes. You can start to see the salt. The start is starting to show up on my chest and shoulders and a little bit on my arms. So it is absorbing the salt somewhere. It's just taking a little bit more time than with some other shirts and fabrics to get through. Tomorrow is the big day. We're gonna do the ultimate stink test. I'm gonna have a shower, smell the shirt, see whether it smells. I might try and find some other people to smell it, see what they think, and then give the final verdict on whether the hype around alpaca wool is justified. I'm just getting to the parking lot after wearing the same shirt for five days of hiking and camping. Let's see if we can get someone to smell me. You've been up here for five days? Yeah, so, yeah I've been up here for five, five days backpacking. And I'm wondering, can you guys smell me? Do I stink? Okay, we're okay. gonna smell you. Yeah. You're meeting, okay. 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 You're meeting somebody? <laughs> Are you on a commercial? You know what? Not, <laughs> not too bad. Not, not, not too, too bad. bad. Not too bad. <laughs> Is it kind of like a BO stink a little bit? Or um, what are we getting like in there? It's like a salty sweat kind of, yeah. Okay, that's, that's not, bad. not bad. Yeah. not bad. I feel like- Five days? Five days, I feel like at this I distance, can, you have to, you you have to get the, close. You, have, well, you know what? Okay, should I do a really good sniff test? If, if you want. Okay. Okay, yeah. I can do it. She works at a home. You know yeah. what? She, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you know what? It smells like it has been like dust. Okay. So. Wow, that's. Wow. You smell I'm, like I'm, a trail. I'm impressed. Yeah, I thought, well, you guys yeah. smell them. <laughs> <laughs> if you want. Smell them. I figured he was doing a commercial for for that deodorant that that you, that, that lady doctor. Yeah. Oh, knew me. Or... Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, don't bend over. I think it smells like dust. Like dust. you know when you're wearing. That's interesting. That's that's cool because yeah, nice. usually you can't smell yeah, yourself after that bad. many times. No. Oh, interesting. I see. That was a pretty good initial stink review from those ladies, but I have been smelling myself a little bit more, and I do have some more thoughts that I want to share with you around stink. But before we get into that, I want to talk about some other ways in which the shirt performed out on this trip. First of all, with UV protection. So it did provide UV protection. I wore a watch the entire trip and I have a watch tan right here. So I did get some sun on my arms and then my hands underneath my sun gloves and this shirt, but not enough to burn. I just kind of have a light, light bronzing. So a, a nice tan and Steph's gonna be super happy about that. She said one thing before I left on this trip and that's don't get sunburned before our wedding. I think the jury's still out on durability. I am pretty impressed that even with all things that I was encountering on this trip that I don't have any snags or pulls on the shirt or any rips but I want to put alpaca wool through its paces a little bit more before I give a definitive conclusion on whether it's more durable than merino wool or as durable as nylon but especially around shoulder strap areas and as you're doing more bushwhacking it can really do some damage to a shirt. Comfort surprised me in a big way this shirt I really thought as I was sleeping in it all day hiking in it all day that it would start to feel uncomfortable especially as salt built up inside the shirt because of sweat you can see the sweat stains right through here but it's been really comfortable even while sleeping I've just been able to toss and turn and not have any scratchy spots Pretty surprising. I definitely thought that it was gonna be a lot more uncomfortable. Some of you are probably wondering what this shirt is. It's made by Appalachian Gear Company. It's made in the US. It's made with alpaca wool from Peru. It weighs 200 grams for the size medium, which is what I'm wearing right now, and then costs just over $100. This version is the 80-20 version. It's made with 80% alpaca wool and then 20% tensile. Tensile absorbs a little bit more moisture than alpaca wool, so that's probably why it was doing a good job, better job than I expected at regulating my temperature in this really hot Arizona desert sun and heat. And then alpaca wool is what was allowing it to dry quickly. Alpaca wool has hollow fibers, whereas merino wool has solid fibers. So that's why alpaca wool dries a little bit faster and is a little bit warmer for its weight compared to merino wool. So for stink, I've done a little bit more of an in-depth analysis on myself here. And those ladies, they did a great job. They got, they got right in there. I was, I was impressed, very thankful that they're good sports about that. But when I really get my nose on the fabric, I can smell a little, a little bit of stink. It's, it's not much, like you have to get right onto the fabric to get that smell. And I imagine if I just let it air out for a bit, then that stink would go away. Righty smells a little bit more than lefty. That's, that's kind of normal. Lefty usually doesn't stink quite as much. Even once I take it off and good, give it a good sniff, around the head, the arms. It doesn't stink, just a little bit around the armpits. But like I said, even now, as it's airing out a little bit, that smell is going away. So it might've just been my armpits going through the shirt. That's, that's pretty crazy. Wow. <laughs>
The stink factor is probably what I am most impressed with. The fact that I've worn this for five days straight while hiking in really hot desert, like this is, this is as stinky as it gets. My feet are brutal right now, but my upper body and this shirt, no problems. I think the limit is probably four or five days, but not necessarily from a stink factor, but because of all the salt that's building up in the shirt, it just needs to get washed, get rid of that grit and the salt in order to perform at its optimal level. I think it'd be a great option for through hikers. If I was going on a through hike right now, I'd probably pick this shirt because of the low stink factor. Usually you're hitting towns every four or five days, so you're not gonna be getting super stinky out on trail. And the fact that it's comfortable while hiking and sleeping means that you don't need to bring a sleep shirt with you, which saves you quite a bit of weight. I definitely wish I had discovered alpaca wool sooner. I wanna be putting it through a lot more tests. I'm gonna be putting it head to head with merino wool to see how it stacks up, especially in some testable metrics. But if you wanna see some other gear that I wish I had discovered sooner, then go check out this video right up here. It's a bunch of really cool gear that you're gonna love.